mía se veo. Hi everyone, welcome to IoT X is on Tech. Thank you very much for joining me today. So yes, I have finally gone wireless with my microphone system. Hooray! Well, not quite yet because I'm, I'm still wired up. But this is the Comica Boom XU U1. This is a UHF wireless microphone kit. So let's open the box and see what we get in. I have resisted temptation to completely open it. Look at that because I wanted to open it on camera and open everything with you, the viewers. So it comes in a really nice little, little bag with Comica on the leatherette strap that pulls out as well, which is so cool. In the front zip, we have all the little cables. Now, I haven't opened these, any of these yet. So first time on camera, I think that is USB. I've got a little pair of scissors because I want everything to look nice. Let's hope it don't cut through the cable. So this is charged via USB on the transmitter and the receiver. So this is a two piece kit. Comes with one transmitter, one receiver. You can get them in a two kit, which is called the Boom XU U2. So you get two transmitters and one receiver. So that's a USB-C charging cable. In here, I don't know what is in there. Ah, the cat. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> a little wind muff. Actually, nice and fluffy. In the second bag, we have, by the looks of it, a microphone. Yep, a Lavelli microphone with a Velcro strap. Very nice, with its own foam wind shield on there. Uh, this is a TRS uh, microphone with a clip. I'll show you how the clip works in a minute. So you get microphone. So far, um, dead cat, USB-C charging cable. This is, so this is a TRRS to TRS adapter. So this you'd use with your mobile phone, for example, that one. Next bag, a lot of bags in here, just like Christmas all over again. This one is a TRS to TRS. So this is more for cameras, camcorders, for example. Brilliant, eh? And last but not least, an XLR. So this is very pro. There we go. And um, a TRS to XLR. So that would work very well with my Comica CVM AX3, the mix that I use on every video since I've bought it. So fantastic, brilliant. So that's what's in the front pocket there. If we go around to the main pocket. Ah, oh, yes piece of kit we're all looking forward to. We have the user manual, a nice uh, chunky looking user manual by the way, probably in loads of different languages. It looks as though we get a sticker. Oh no, it's a QC pass. <laughs> Quality control bar, I thought it was a sticker. Uh, what's that, warranty card. And of course the instruction book, broadcasting level multifunctional mini UHF wireless microphone. So why choose UHF over a digital one, for example, a 2.4 gigahertz one? Well, UHF, because it's radio frequency rather than uh, a digital frequency, there are less and less um, radio frequencies around these days because everything's gone digital. So everything's on the 2.4 gigahertz, you know, wireless spectrum, for example. So with this being UHF, you're gonna get less, less, much less interference. So there is the main receiver. The, uh, the Boom XU receiver with a little, I think there's an OLED screen on it, with two antennas or antennae. Comes with a hot shoe. That's compatible with a hot shoe, by the way. And a clip, USB-C charging port. I'll go into that in a minute. Plant that down by there. And then this is the transmitter, receiver transmitter. Again, with its little uh, antenna on it. Built-in microphone, obviously I'll be doing a sound test in a minute. USB-C charging port, on-off button, um, Lavellian mic or other microphone input on the top there, as well as a belt clip. I think that's also um, hot shoe compatible. 
Yeah, same size. And of course then, the padded case. And free silica gel, not to be eaten by the way. But yes, I'm, the packaging is spot on. Well done, Comica. So let's wire all this up and turn everything on. And then let's do the important, all important sound test. I need a microphone. The dead cat. Ah, so the dead cat fits on that one. Ah, that's good. So you can just clip it on you out in the wind when you're news broadcasting, whatever, in a windy location. Ah, cool. Okay, so let's turn this on. So to turn this on, all you can do is push and hold the power button. Oh my God. There you go. Channel 42, channel zero, A and B. So you can have two transmitters with the one receiver. I'm not 100% sure if you can just buy a, uh, a transmitter on its own, but let's turn on this one. There you go, you got the little blue light on there, and of course you've got the screen on there. It's flashing. So it seems to flash. I don't know if you can see that off over there but it seems to flash when it picks up the sound which is rather good and of course on the on the receiver you can probably see the little signal indicator there as well as i'm talking so um let's go through the instruction book <laughs> back in a few minutes so here are some of the main features then of the comica boom xu kit so we've got a 180 degree foldable antenna the working distance is up to 120 meter so it's got auto scanner and quick IR pair. So I mentioned that these two devices have an infrared sensor. Well, one has an infrared blaster and the other one has an infrared sensor on it. So that's for quick pairing if you've got more that if they did become disconnected, for example. On the screen, it's a colorful TFT display with high resolution, which I would say is pretty good resolution on there. So you've got real time visual power and audio dynamic monitoring. So as you're talking, you can see the little um, VU meter is going up and down as I'm talking here, which is gives you an indication, obviously, that it is picking up sound. We've got support for screen flip. So if you were to put this on top of your camera, like the wrong way or a certain way, then you can just flip the screen around so you can see what, what's happening on the screen there. So you've got an LCF, which is a low cutoff filter, an MS switch, 16 levels of adjusted gain control and a muting function. This also has monitoring output as well. So you can plug in a pair of headphones and away you go. You can plug, put your headphones on, plug it into this, and you can hear in real time what is being said on the transmitter. So what about battery life in Nexus? Well, I'm happy to say that these can go on and on and on for up to six hours of continuous recording, which is fantastic. That's way, way longer than a, a normal IoT video recording session anyway. <laughs> All right then, so let's uh, plug in the microphone. Hey. That Stays on the cable, that's fantastic. So I said, this comes with a built-in clip. So as you can see there, the light is flashing blue, which means it's picking up what I'm saying through the internal microphone. But as soon as you plug this in, it will switch from the internal microphone to the external microphone. So let's plug, let's put that on by there. Well, you're not gonna be able to hear it though, are you? Tell you what, let's plug it into the camera. Okay, so I've now uh, connected up the receiver to my camera. I had to change the volume level down to volume 2. I guess I could change the camcorder setting as well, but eh, faffing around. So as you can see, as I'm talking, I don't know if you can see, but you could probably see that the blue light is flashing as I'm talking. So that means it is picking up the audio. If you're wondering what the little button does by there, well, it's if you push and hold, it's the mute button, but then it's also the low cut filter as well. So if you're... I don't know, low cut filter is more to do with the wind. So I'll cut out the wind noise as you're recording the audio. So I'm just gonna place this on the table. I'm gonna plug in the microphone. Let me extend the arm. It only goes one way, probably will fall over. So let's um, connect up the Lavellia microphone to me. There we go. And then we'll just plug it in. So you might hear some crackle and pop as I'm plugging this in though. Are we connected? We are connected. So there we go. Watching the audio quality. So the receiver's up by there. This is the transmitter connected up to the Lavelli microphone. Let me plug it in. Plug, I keep saying plugging in for some reason. Let me, I'll take this, I'll take this one off.
There we go. We'll plug it in its place. So what do you think of the sound? Well, I, I don't know what it sounds like as I've not used this microphone before, but uh, yes, I finally gone wireless. I can go out the room and not have to worry about unclipping myself and plugging myself and then plugging myself back in, which I did unfortunately when I was doing my last video. I went out the room to do something, to get something. I come back and I forgot to plug myself back in. <laughs> I finished off my video. I had to do it all over again because I forgot to plug myself back in. So I'm going to hit pause on here now and I'm going to have a listen back to see what the audio is like. So I'll catch you after these blue, purpley, so I'll catch you after these purple lines. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I'm now using fully the Boom X U, U1. I've clipped it onto my, my side by here. I flopped the little antenna down, the little aerial thing. I've plugged in my microphone. I've taken off the windshield off uh, the Lavellia microphone. It's by here. Uh, it comes with a little rubber bit on it as well. Um, the receiver is on my camera, the camcorder. Now, one thing I did notice, I turned it off because I wanted to check the audio on my PC. But then when I turned it back on, it didn't remember its sound setting, it, its volume setting, should I say. Um, I glowed it down to volume three. When I uh, turned it back on, it gone back up to volume 12 again. So I turned the volume down on my camcorder through the settings there. Um, I think I'm around about volume four. And then on the receiver, I'm on about volume six, I think it was. So hopefully I can see the VU level on my camera. I can see the VU level uh, VU level on my uh, Comica, on the, the Comica Boom XU. So I know that this is recording at a decent volume. So one question you probably got is, well, how far can you go from the camera? Well, I'm sitting maybe about two meters away. So of course it's gonna pick up the sound really, really well with no interference at all, because I'm not using anything that's in the UHF range. I haven't got no radios. I haven't got, uh, what do they call those big radio things? You uh, break a breaker. This is one, two, driving a red truck down the highway. One of those things, <laughs> UHF radio. So it's not gonna interfere. Um, I do live near a phone mast, but that's gonna be digital. It's not gonna be analog. So that is where the Boom XU kit comes in perfectly because it's not gonna get interference from your Wi-Fi signal or your smart home devices. Fantastic. Right, let me show you what it looks like on, on my camera. Right, so I've got my, uh, my Panasonic G5. It's not a GH5, I can't afford one of those. So let's hit record. So there is the Boom XU on top of my camera, connected into the camcorder. See, and uh, there you go, look, I'm on TV, man. You can probably see the VU meter in the corner. I don't know if you can, but there you go. As I'm talking, you can see the video. I've changed the channel to channel B. You can also see uh, the, the camcorder, um, the VU level meter running on there as well. So that's what my, uh, my camera rig looks like in the room with a Comica set up on it. So yes, what about that range test? Now, how am I going to do this? Hmm. Let's get a vlogging kit and walk around the house. <laughs> Back now. Okay, so I've set up um, the Boom XU over by there uh, with the camera. So I'm gonna take a walk around the house. I've got the antenna po pointing down on the Boom XU. I've also got the antenna pointing down on my waist by there. So let's uh, go for a walk and see when the signal drops out. So I'm gonna have to climb over the bed. Oh, sorry about the shaky footage. Let's uh, go downstairs. Smart lights coming on. It's the motion controlled. So do we still have audio? Time will tell when it comes to the editing. So I'm coming downstairs. I'm at the front of the house. Well, directly above me now is the bedroom anyway. So let's try and go out in the garden and see if it picks up a decent signal out there. Yeah, there's all my uh, fridge magnets from around the world. It'll be quite cold out here because it's winter time. Let's go out. Ooh, hopefully it's not raining. I can't see because I'm blinded by the light. I have to walk this way. So I wonder if it is still picking up the audio, even though I'm all the way out here. So I'm out in the garden. I don't know if you can see, but the, that's the moon. Um, can you see the house? I don't know if you can see the house up there, but I doubt this would still be picking up the audio, to be honest. Let's see if it says on there, we're still showing the blinking blue light as I'm talking. So that's quite good. So uh, can we go any further without falling over anything? Let's have a look. 
So I'm right at the back of the house. Now I know this garden is about 11 meters long and there's a window and then the, the back bedroom and then my studio where I film. Hmm, quite far away away. Let's go back and see if it's still recorded. Okay, so I'm back upstairs. Let's see if this recorded or not. Oh my word. It worked, even all the way out there? Wowzers. I just watched the video back just to see, you know, if it still picked up the audio and it did. That is one impressive. Uh, you know, this isn't a film studio. Um, obviously there's one, two walls before you get to the outside of the house, but we're right to the back of the garden, which I said is about 11, maybe, maybe a bit more than that actually, because I got some solar lights, they were 10 meters long. And it was about one or two meters from the end of the garden, all stretched out. But anyway, wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. I'm really impressed with this kit and how far I can go. Imagine getting a cable that long. <laughs> if you wanted to go, go out to the house and keep this as like your main recording area. And then wanted to go out the garden or go up the street and down the street, for example. Very impressed, very impressed. You can see on the little display, it's got the uh, signal strength indicator. It did go down to one bar at one point, but then I was like, what about, oh, quite maybe about 17, 18 meters away? Yes, this this is such a good system. Fair play, Comica. Well done. I, I doff my hat to ye. <laughs> so if you would like to buy the Comica Boom XU1 or the Boom XU2, I'll obviously leave a link in the video description below. So if you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. If not, then please give us a thumbs down twice. Thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, then please hit that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you very much. So this has been the Comica Boom XU U1 Wireless Professional Microphone Kit. I am blown away by it. So thank you very much once again for watching today's episode of IoT X is on Tech. I thank you very much once again. I'll catch you again on the next one. Bye bye. Brilliant. Amazing bracket. Blown away. <laughs>